Knuckle. In this tutorial I'm just going to show you how you can create a brush in Affinity Photo and a brush that's got multiple elements so like one two three four five six seven of course or maybe multiple cats dogs whatever a whole range of different multiple designs which can be applied randomly. Now first thing to do I'm just going to go over here to the just move it out of the way slightly double click on that one and I'm going to modify an existing brush and I'm just going to go over there texture and what you can do then, you can actually add. So add, just gonna add the PNG file. They're all PNG files. There's probably other formats you can use, but I use PNG files, add those. And you have to add them, unfortunately, one at a time. So what's the best thing to do is actually remove the existing one. So I'm just gonna remove that one. And you can see the numbers, one, two, three, it just goes up there. Add three, add, Four, add and another reason I'm just going to show you more than a couple of these I just want to quickly show there is an issue with the scrolling so add and you'll suddenly notice the scroll disappears fortunately the scroll doesn't actually reappear unless add eight and then add nine right so once you've actually done that you can go to general and then back to texture and then it does appear so you can just see them then but otherwise it just suddenly vanishes when you change anything but it does reappear occasionally it does seem to disappear anyway once you've actually done that you can modify the brush size and i'm going to reduce the brush size down i it just works better a bit smaller brush than that you can also modify the size just a flow etc as well as hue saturation and that sort of thing and of course you can add additional brushes if you wish you can also add a texture right so once you've actually decided that's it you can then you can see the brush there and it will just click there now if you go over to the color i'm just going to quickly go to the color there and i'm going to change the color so you now can see that it applies the color and just randomly fills a document with numbers but of course like i say you could use a, B, C, D, whatever, a whole range of different designs, not just numbers. And of course, numbers may be in a different font or whatever. And of course, you can create the actual designs within Affinity. Now, it would be a nice feature, actually, if the, uh, the application itself could actually generate the brushes for that. But it uh, doesn't appear that feature is an automatic process. You actually have to manually create these PNG files. Hopefully, that'll change. Who knows? One of those possible things for a another release. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Thank you much.